this stylus here. Boom, see, look, look at it, pretty cool. Boom. 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 Chuck it. Fantastic. Dude, it's got magnets in it. It just clicks. It's so satisfying. It really is. Look at this. Boop. It's, it's so satisfying. I mean, look at it. But it, it's just a, you're not here for the stylus. You're here. Affinity Photo, the Curves tool. Let's, let's get on into it. Let's go. Okay, so we're finally here in Affinity Photo. We've got a couple of uh, photos here. We've got three of them. This one is of some water and some nice blue sky. We've got one of the Arch Rock, I'm pretty sure it's called, uh, over on Mackinac Island. And then this is the same Arch Rock, but from a different angle. The other one's actually taken from like right down here on the beach. So to get to your Curves tool to begin with, you're gonna go up here to your Adjustment tab and click on your Curves tool. And this will give you the box with your histogram and this white line at a 45 degree angle. And you can go ahead and move it, make the photo really, really bright, right? So if you raise this up, it raises all the values of all the pixels up. And if you lower it below the line, it'll darken your picture and uh, make everything like a, a lower brightness and everything. We're gonna go ahead and hit reset because I don't really wanna mess with that one there. I've got some other ones all lined up in my layers panel. So we're gonna click on this one. Now for this one, really basic, it's just a little bit overexposed. So we're just gonna go ahead and drag it down just a little bit, not too much, otherwise we're gonna get kind of some harsh shadows in some places and I don't really want that. I just really kind of want to bring out a little bit of the sky and kind of dehaze it a little bit and bring out some more of the colors. So that's not bad for a beginning and everything. That's a pretty good introduction to the curves tool. We're going to go ahead and open up our second photo. This one's really hazy. Uh, there wasn't a lens hood, like a lens hood on my lens, so there's a lot of light coming in from the sun that it like hits the top and it's not like a lens flare, but it kind of just makes your entire photo kind of like hazy and stuff like that. So we're going to try and get rid of that with our curves tool. So we're going to go ahead and click on our Curves tool. And again, we're just going to go ahead and kind of darken the image and get rid of like that haze. And as you can see, it kind of brings out all of the green in like the trees and stuff like that. It doesn't really help our sky. Our sky is still too blown out, um, but it helps to kind of dehaze all of the green from the trees and stuff like that. And that looks like a little bit better of a photo. Now we can go through, kind of do some color corrections and stuff like that. Okay, so we're going to move on to our third photo here. This is our blue sky and the water. We're going to introduce um, the picker tool and the different RGB layers uh, of the curves tool. So you can do the whole brightness as a whole, and you can also bring out more of the reds, the blues, and the greens based on the different you know waves and curves that you put into the different uh, like channels and everything. So we're going to go ahead, uh, we're going to use the picker tool to kind of just bring down the whole brightness of the photo, kind of make it a bit more moody, bring out these really kind of highlights in the clouds and everything, as opposed to this entire photo being a little bit too bright. So as you're gonna see, the curve kind of comes down, darkens the whole thing. Below the curve, you're gonna see where it says master. You can click on this and you get the red channel, the green channel, the blue channel, and the alpha channel. We're gonna go ahead into the red channel, and we're actually gonna go ahead and actually just kind of bring this down kind of make it a bit more blue, really bring out that blue sky, and also get kind of like that orange-ish, kind of bluish green, kind of, you know, contrasting color on like the color wheel to kind of give it more of like a, you know, a nice look and everything like that. And what now we're gonna go ahead and do is click on our blue channel, and we're gonna take our color picker, because we kind of want to affect the blue area, and we kind of want to figure out where on the curve this blue area is. If you don't really know what part of the histogram, uh, like like the whites, uh, the highlights, the shadows, and the blacks, your particular like color thing you wanna like edit, like for right now this would be like a highlight, and this right here would be like a shadow. But if you don't really know where on like the histogram it is and where to affect it at, you can take your color picker tool, click on like an like a area of your image, and it'll take like a pixel or like a dot on your on your line, and make your curve based on that dot specifically of like that pixel area in your photo. So if you don't know, like, is this a highlight? Is this kind of more of a shadow? You click on that and you can raise it and lower it and everything like that. Now we're gonna go ahead with our blues and we're gonna go ahead and kind of just raise it up a little bit. Kind of get a bit more of like the blue and less of like that swampy green color and stuff like that. And then we're gonna go back to our master and actually kind of just darken the photo just a little bit more. So that way it really brings out the highlights in the clouds and makes it more of like a silhouette and everything like that. 
So that's the introduction to the curves tool. It's really simple. It's a curve and you've got your blacks, your shadows, your highlights, and your whites. So you can kind of just take your curve along there. Typically it'll be an S curve. Typically you want to kind of bring out some of the highlights and kind of darken some of the shadows, especially if you're coming from like a desaturated uh, like C log format and everything and you kind of want to make those colors really pop. Anyways, that is it. That is the curves tool. You can make your photos just instantly kind of pop and then kind of go in with some other like color corrections and everything like that. But the curves tool is a great way as like a first tool in your photo editing software just to kind of get the ball rolling and kind of see what kind of, you know, different contrasting things you can do with it. If you enjoyed the video and you learned something, consider hitting the like button. And if you want to see more videos, hit subscribe. Other than that, I'll see you guys next time. And uh, if you like the stylus, also give it a like. I mean, it's pretty cool. It's got magnets. Anyways, I'm going to sit here and mess with this, this stylus. I'll see you guys later. Have a fantastic day. Sometimes it fails. It's just so cool. Like, it's magnets. It's magnificent. I mean, listen, how could I not? Like, I did, I love puns. It's so good. It's so good.